me start by saying uh, right from the get-go how much I loved this movie. Uh, you did a phenomenal job. One of my favorites of the year. Thank you. Um, I loved the way you shot this film. Uh, you and Robbie collaborated. Just the the fish eye, the fish lens, the choice of lenses, the everything. I loved it. Uh, talk a little bit about collaborating with Robbie on the look of the film. For my last film, few films, I think I've been experimenting uh, with uh, certain things, movement, uh, lensing, I, uh, camera angles, and things like that. So I felt that this film was an opportunity to take things even further, and. Um, uh, also a good opportunity to work with Robbie that I'd met a few times uh, and we were always discussing about working together at some point. I really loved his work. Um, so, um, yeah, the, 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 there were some initial ideas that I had coming into the film. Um, I, I really wanted to enhance the feel of those uh, extremely big spaces and how they... Uh, how they're juxtaposed to the few people that inhabit them. Uh, so the use of you know extreme wide-angle lenses kind of enhanced that feel, and uh, it created those huge distorted spaces. Um, and it also at the same time ma made the film feel quite claustrophobic because you kind of see where the space ends, and it's not infinite, although it's big. Um, we, we discussed a lot about camera movement and we wanted to have within the same shot uh, more than one of the characters. So there was a lot of movement and panning. And um, Another thing is that I, I always like to work with natural light or practical lighting. So in, in our case, you know, there was no electricity during that period. So we had to work with either daylight or candles. Um, which was exciting and kind of scary at the same time. But, uh, yeah, Robbie's really up for trying anything and going any place you direct him to, and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, we started a show on Collider called For Your Consideration. And one of the things we've been talking about with everyone recently is what does it mean to be an Oscar movie, especially with the changing... Like a lot more Academy members now and the diversity, uh, the fact that more films are being thought of, it's not just a certain ty type of movie. What does it mean for you to be, quote unquote, an Oscar movie? Um, I mean, I have no idea. I don't know, you know how it is defined or who makes the decision that a film is an Oscar movie. Um, I, I never think about these things before it actually happens. I, I, I just try to do you know the best that I can with the film and then if people appreciate it and in somehow it ends up being characterized as an Oscar film or an award-worthy film or anything like that, it's always you know, a, a huge uh, uh, positive for, for the film. Uh, I'm always obsessed with talking about the editing process because that's the final rewrite. I'm curious, um, maybe what did you learn from any friends and family screenings or any test screenings that impacted the finished film? Um, when I show the film in, in, in general, what I've realized is that I, it's not so much how people react to it or what they say about it uh, when they intellectualize it, but it's mostly how I feel while I'm showing it to them. So if I feel comfortable in certain parts of the film, I know that it's working. If I feel uncomfortable that other people are watching that part of the film, I know that, you know, that something different needs to be done there. Um, it's all about, you know, putting yourself uh, in a position where you're exposed. Uh, you're exposing your work to other people, and then you, you realize how you feel about it. Uh, the film is a lot funnier than I think people may, might think it is. Yeah. I mean, last night I was laughing many times, and same with the audience. Uh, could you sort of talk about the, the humor? There's a, there's a lot of really great humor in the film. Yeah, I think from the beginning when we when we started developing the screenplay, I I, I knew that I wanted it to be a quite a funny, humorous film, like a tragic comedy in 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 a sense. Um, so it was it's always the case that you're trying to strike a balance between uh, the comedy and the drama and the ridiculousness of situations and people and characters and um, you know the darkness of the story as well. So. Um, yeah, I guess this film might might have more of a funny 
uh, aspect to it than you know some of my other films, but um, the dark comes as well. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Sir, I say again, one of the best films of the year. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much for your time. Thank you.